Over the last couple of years, there has been an interesting trend in the high-velocity fan market towards seemingly better quality products, particularly noted by the use of ball bearings. Unfortunately, many of these newer models that use the ball bearings have very poor variance in the speeds. These TPI fans are what I would consider to be the best high-velocity fan made today, but the low speed is way too fast and does not have enough variance between medium, high, and low. A friend of mine recommended this controller to me, which ordinarily I would consider to be a complete piece of junk and never even consider purchasing it, but he said that he used it with his 18-inch TPI fan and it worked pretty well. It's very inexpensive, I think it was less than $15. I have attempted to change the speeds on the 18-inch model using capacitors. I tried adding an additional capacitor of varying capacitance ratings to slow down the low speed and I did not have good success because the motor would start to run very hot when it was slowed down. I've done the same thing with the 12-inch model, a different instance, this one has not been modified, and I had pretty good success with that. I was able to slow down the low speed without getting uh, an overheat condition on the motor. So I was told that he tested his 18-inch TPI with this running at a low speed and didn't overheat. So I'm curious to try this on mine, on the 12, and on a bunch of other fans as well. I'm not sure this is a perfect solution because it most likely is going to produce a lot of um, like Hertz hum, that, that buzzing sound that you typically get with uh, ceiling fans for example when you put it on a dimmer control. It does not damage the motor which is a common misconception, it just makes that noise which I would find very annoying because half the problem is that the low speeds are too loud on these fans. So here's the controller. I feel like the manual should have some change. The box, um, the box doesn't have any Changlish, which is disappointing. Let's see. Uh, let's see if the manual does. A tick sound. To turn to space, turn it on. Rotate the dial clockwise till you hear a tick sound. Mm, nothing crazy in terms of the changlish. So this is um, B N. A link. I'm not familiar with that brand. I suppose the model number is BNQ-31. Three different speed types: high, medium, or low. Is it not variable? Yeah, it's it's infinite range. It can handle up to 4.8 amps, which should be well more than any of the fans we're going to connect for indoor use. BN Link. Okay, the brand is just BN Link. It's all plastic, but it doesn't feel particularly cheap. The um, the knob is metal and actually feels like pretty good quality, surprisingly. Well, let's see how it works. Oh, I want to put the meter here. I wonder if this is going to end up producing a very poor power factor as it, as it turns it down. I tend to think that it will. Alright, we'll start it off on high. Actually, first, I'll just give a baseline of the speeds here. This is 118.1 with the volts. High. 
high, medium, low. See how there's like no difference? There's a decent drop between medium and high. And if there was that much of a difference again to get to low, I think it would be satisfactory, but there's just not a good drop to low. Oh, actually, this is much quieter than I remember it. Hmm. Alright, so that is power factor of 1. That's actually very rare to see a 1 on the notes. Point nine nine on high, so very good power factor. That's uh, 0.64 amps on high, 0.39 on medium, and 0.35 on low. Watts is 42 watts on low, 47 watts on medium, and 75 watts on high. Turn this to high, and let's see what we got here. Okay, so that's full power, still 75 watts. Power factor is the same at 0.98, actually, it went down to 0.97. Yeah, there's that hum. That's all the way down to low, and uh, I actually think that the speed is pretty much the same, except it's much louder because now we got the motor hum. As I expected, the power factor is very poor now. It's 0 0.66, uh, 0 0.63 amps, 49 the watts. Let's drop it down to low. It is slowing it down, but it's so loud, I think I'd rather listen to the air noise than the motor hum. All the way down on low is 0 0.32 the amps, 27 the watts, with power factor of 0 0.7. It is slowing it down considerably. This would be a nice speed for it to operate at, but as I kind of expected, the noise is not worth it. Pure motor hum there. And that's the same reason why I don't like to use variable speed controls with ceiling fans because you get that same kind of noise and it's very distracting. So it works, it provides a decent range in speeds, but on this particular fan, it's way too loud. So, I'm not going to work for this particular unit, but we'll try it with some other fans and maybe it would work. Try it with some plastic fans, some box fans. Try it with the 18 inch one just to see what it does with that. Might make for some interesting experimentation.